Look at the number five. Absolute value of x plus one greater than or equal to negative two x plus four. For these uh, inequalities, we cannot use uh, the rule for absolute value of x greater than or equal to constant number a to solve question five because we have a variable here and a here. We got to use a graph to solve these inequalities. First of all, we will move everything to the left side to set up a greater than or equal to zero form. So we have an absolute value of x plus one plus two x plus four greater than or equal to zero. We will make y equals absolute value of x plus one plus two x plus four. Then we will work out x plus one equals zero first. Then x equals negative one. Make sure the coefficient of x is a positive. This x plus 1 is a increasing linear function. So we can change this into piecewise function when x greater than or equal to negative 1. Absolute value of x plus 1 will be itself. So we have x plus 1 plus 2x plus 4. That is a 3x plus a 5. When x less than negative 1, we will get opposite of x plus 1. That is a negative x minus 1. Then plus 2x plus 4. Combine like terms, you will get x plus 3. Let me rewrite this uh, piecewise function, 3x plus 5, when x greater than or equal to negative 1. x less than negative 1, we will get x plus 3. Then we need to draw this uh, piecewise function to get the solution of uh, these uh, inequalities. Since for linear, function two points decides a line we need to get two points when x greater than or equal to negative one i use uh, x equals negative one plug in here you will get two then the next point will be zero because zero is greater than or equal to negative one so when x equals uh, Zero. 3 times 0 plus 5, or you will get 0, 5. We will use negative 1, 2 for this uh, linear function. Then we need to get the number less than negative 1 is negative 2. Then we plug in here. Negative 2 plus 3 will be 1. Let's uh, sketch the graph. This is x, this is a y. So we have a negative 1, negative 2. This is a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have a 0, 5 here. Negative 1, 2 is here. So we connect these two. Then Negative 2, 1 is here. So connect these two. Let's label the function. This function is a 3x plus 5. This function is a x plus a 3. Greater than or equal to 0 means a part of graph or above x axis will be the solution. In another words, this part is the solution. 
we need to figure out uh, this uh, x intercept here. That is a negative three. Therefore, x greater than or equal to negative three will be the solution to this uh, absolute value inequalities. Let's go to number six. First of all, change this into positive. So we have a 3x minus 6 less than x plus 5. So you will get absolute value of a 3x minus 6 minus x minus 5 less than 0. We set up y equals absolute value of a 3x minus 6 minus x minus 5. We solve 3x minus 6 equals 0. You will get x equals 2. So we change this absolute value function into piecewise function. That is when x greater than or equal to 2. You will get 3x minus 6 itself minus x minus 5. Combine like terms, 2x minus 11. When x less than 2, you will get opposite of all this. That is negative 3x plus 6 minus x minus 5. Combine like terms, negative 4x plus 1. Let's organize. You will have a 2x minus 11 when x greater than or equal to 2. Negative 4x plus 1 when x less than 2. Let's sketch the graph of this piecewise function. Let's get the points. When x equals 2, plug in here, you will get negative 7. When x equals 3, you will get negative 5. Make sure this x coordinate is greater than 2. So for negative 4x plus 1, we still use the point to negative 7. And 1. Negative 4 times 1 plus 1, that is a negative 3. 2 negative 7 is a here. Then 3 negative 5 is a here. Then connect this to 1 negative 3 is a here. Then we connect this to. Let's extend this one. Here, we label the function. This one is y equals 2x minus 11. This is a negative 4x plus 1. Look at the inequality. It's a less than 0, which means the part of a graph below x axis will be the solution. So this part is the solution. We need to figure out the x-intercept here. Make a negative 4x plus 1 equals 0. x equals 1 over 4. This, we will make a 2x minus 11 equals 0. So x equals 11 over 2. Therefore, the solution will be x greater than 1 over 4, less than 11 over 2. This is the final answer to the absolute value inequality.